Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A53 and today I'll show you how you can put the device into safe mode. So to get started pull down your notifications, expand it and tap on this power button. Once you see your boot options right here, hold power off. When you hold it as you can see it changes into safe mode. So from here let's confirm it by tapping on it once again and this will initiate a reboot. Now while it's booting up into safe mode, I'm going to quickly just give an overview of what this mode is for. So if you're having some kind of problems with your device or as an example, you might have installed some kind of malicious application that is causing you problems and you can't get rid of it because it's, I don't know, maybe messing with your device in such a way that you just virtually can't use it. Uh, you can boot that device into safe mode, which will terminate that application. It will not be able to run at all. and uh, you won't be able to start it either, so from there you can, for instance, remove it. So once we are in safe mode, you will see this pop-up right here at the bottom, which will always be visible in, in this mode. Additionally, things like widgets are not working here. And if we get into our app tray, you can see that there is also two applications, no, four applications, at least that I can see, that aren't working. And the way you can differentiate them is apps that cannot run in this mode, uh, meaning safe mode, will be monochrome. So as you can see, Tips, YouTube Music, Alliance Shield X, Facebook are the apps that just cannot start. And there's actually a couple more in here, as I can see. So we have Google Play, Movies, TVs, Photos and Drive, which a little bit weird that Photos is one of those apps that cannot run. If you try to open it, as you can see, downloaded apps disabled in safe mode. So that's a little bit weird but I guess we do have gallery or whatever it is here but yeah um, so that is how you boot into the uh, the safe mode and once you're done with it all you need to do to leave it is just go back to the boot options right here and select restart once the device boots back up it will go back to normal mode and that being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching